and you can see the piece of equipment running, which is a cool visual piece for us as uh, managers when we're like, well, where's our guys on this product? And, you know, or if there's an accident or something, we can always uh, go back and this is recorded and stored that way. So that's our stick pack sachet machine. Let me just go over a few of these, show you our other pieces of equipment. I don't think the screen is locked in. This is our blender. This is a, a 60 cubic foot working blender. You can see this is a good example. The products are actually being vacuum transferred up to the top of the blender. The reason we do that, a lot of companies, they, it costs a lot of money to actually get this vacuum transfer system, but most companies, they'll, they'll actually carry the products up that staircase and they'll dump in the power. We don't like that solution because they spill something or and they don't know what it is. And then you don't get a very consistent, high quality product. With the vacuum transfer system, the spill, the spill rate is almost non-existent. And so uh, each, each product has also its own set of tubes and the tubes are clean and sanitized. So we never use XM uh, Plus tubes with XM AM tubes or XM Smart Mix with XM Plus or whatever. So we don't ever uh, use the same tubes. The other um, piece of equipment we have is this is a Bosch encapsulator. I don't think it's, nobody's in there today. But this machine, it, it's pretty small, but it'll do 90,000 capsules an hour. So it's very impressive. We just recently ordered or are in the process of ordering another Bosch, uh, the, the next size up, it takes the same floor plan, but has double the dosing capability, and it will do 180,000 caps an hour. So we take those capsules, and you can see an example right in this room over here, they're running their blister cards. You may not recognize that product, you'll find out about it at convention. <laughs> Put it up on the screen. It's uh, wonderful. It's fabulous. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, so this is our blister machine. Um, it's actually running the new product. And um, can you zoom in? Yeah. Zoom in. Yeah, we, we don't want to ruin all the surprise. But it's, it's a wonderful product. We've tested this product for over a year, and a lot of us internally tried it, and it's, it's, in my opinion, it's one of the best, if not the best, products that ZJ has so far. Um, Why? You know, it's, a, it's in a blister cap. It's in a blister, which means it's in an encapsulation product. So the, talking about the machine, this machine is an EMA machine purchased out of Italy, and it cost a million dollars. And when you turn on that machine, it'll run 290 cards, so 15 pills uh, a minute. <coughs> so it just flies. When you turn it on, it, it goes. So we have a lot of capacity left in this machine and also, we custom designed this end piece here where it takes those two or four cards and, and stuffs them right into the carton for us. Another really awesome feature about this machine is we can run XM AM and XM PM together. So half of, it, half of it's ran on one side and the other products ran on the other side. And if it has a really fast uh, camera that takes thousands of pictures a minute looking for defects. So if we teach the machine, this side's running the XMAM cap and this is the color and this is what it's supposed to look like. This side's running the XMPM cap, this is the color and so on. And if one of those caps crosses over, it tracks that part all the way through and kicks it out and rejects it. Hmm. Or if you're missing a cap, it'll track it all the way through and reject it, reject it. or if a cap is cracked or damaged in any way. So we get really high quality uh, products um, in, our, in our blister carts through that machine. That's why when we bought this machine, we knew it was the Ferrari of blister machines, but we wanted the very best. So that's why we went to the expense and length of um, getting this machine. 
So that kind of covers uh, the machines and the climate control piece of this, except for right here. This is our support equipment. Everything in this room is ran um, automatically by the, the computer system. In fact, Jason has an app that he can actually turn stuff on and off through his phone if he's not here, if we need to run extra or, some, or something or run late. Um, so it, it, before our first shift in the morning, it ramps up at like 5.30, and then after our last shift at 2 a.m. or 2.30 a.m., it, it kind of ramps down. We always keep it going, but um, especially the positive pressure, but we don't, we don't keep it ramped up all the way until we're actually in production. So the other piece to this monitoring system is the production side. So again, the same floor plan, but you can see the pieces of the equipment. Stick, um, the scooping, issuing, mixing, blending, stick pack. And if you've noticed the stick pack, it's got a green little square on there. The computer knows if it's running or if it's not running, but it doesn't necessarily know why it's not running. If, for instance, if the status was red, then it wouldn't be running. Um, so we tell our operators, they have a little iPad uh, tablet in the room, and they have to choose why it's not running. This helps us keep the production flow flowing and know where our downtime is to help with costs and everything um, that way. Also, the cool piece about this machine and uh, the computer system is it actually tracks the output. So this is, again, let me show you the picture real quick. That's our sachet machine right now. It's um, producing 17,280 sticks an hour. So it's just also a really fast, efficient machine. It's an eight-lane machine, so every cycle it produces eight sticks. The reason we bought an eight-stick machine is because our cartons also come in eight packs, right? Mm -hmm. So we also, once upstairs is done, can we talk about this real quick. Um, we're putting these IBC blenders right upstairs above these four rooms, and these four rooms will be dedicated stick pack rooms in the new year. Um, we've also recently purchased two more stick pack machines over here in January. So the, this IBC blender is really cool because we have four bless vessels per side, so two for, four for this blender, and we'll have four for this blender. And we'll scoop an issue in one, so we'll weigh out all the ingredients in one, and then we'll blend it, and then we'll take that vessel which detaches and, and put it right over, right over the machine, but upstairs, and it'll gravity feed the product. So that's really going to help us with the efficiency, and it'll be one continuous flow. We have an example of that blender around the corner, which Joe will show you and talk a little bit about. But that, so this machine right here, is going to go across the hall to this room and sit. There's nothing in here, so I'm, I guess I can hit play anyway. But it'll sit right here on this stand, and then it'll all, this is a cartoner. So we'll take those eight sticks. This is a custom designed cartoner for Zija, for your Zija products in the sachet. So it'll take those eight sticks and carton it for us automatically. So again, because you guys are phenomenal and sell a lot of products and consume a lot of these wonderful products, we were automating things so we can produce and keep up with demand. Um, we're really excited to get that moved over and set up. So next year, we should be able to see all that up and running and, you know, flowing that way. Does that cover everything, Joe? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have I'm going to let Christine take it.